Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Russia in the No Theater Square Challenge. Oh my goodness, I did it again. Okay. Performance is fine. I had a, <laughs> I had my Adobe uh, Premiere Pro open in the background and it was like completely sucking up all my computer's resources and it was like, you shall not record. All right. Oh, you know what would have been a cool idea, actually? If choral music gave you room for great works of music in your temples. Interesting idea. Uh, probably can't be done. Um... So I'm going to take the uh, translator promotion here. Uh, so here, I want to keep these forests. I'll get rid of this jungle. You're hanging on there. I don't want to put a mine there. I'm going to harvest this to get rid of it, even though it's being worked right now. This is not a... Oh, this is a hill. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I was made the wrong move. Right, so we're going to get rid of this rainforest, and then we're going to get rid of the bananas. You're going to swing up here. Uh, and then we're going to improve this fishing tile. And we're going to work that fishing tile, because we want the city to grow faster. More than we want it to build those walls. And we'll chop there. That'll finish that. We'll get to work on the medieval walls. We've got a lot of city development to do. Um, that's not enough gold. That's not enough gold to give me for those. I'm sorry. All right, cool. So we got one of these guys killed. Let's go see if we can get the other one killed. And there's the relic. Uh, that will hurt the... Um, Religiosity, religiosity. I'm gonna get an apostle here and start an inquisition so I could just easily get rid of all this. Um, but yeah, now we have two relics, which is pretty good. Yeah, kind of wish I had been built Mont Saint Michel and Saint Petersburg, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so Novgorod needs to get work, get to work on this, then. You have two build charges. Let's go get this online. You wait there. You wait there. Um, and we will put a mine there. Absolutely. Mm. You actually can't even put those things in there. So I don't know why you ha I have you there. You know what? Um, it's actually a pretty decent spot for a national park right in here so i'm gonna go ahead and put a pin there and reserve that territory for it we're going to want to get rid of the rainforest rainforest isn't very useful now i could put a lumber mill here but i think i'm going to chop to finish the um, entertainment district and then i'm going to quickly Get to work on ancient walls. Might be a good idea to finish the lava, or like repair it, but I think the ancient walls are kind of too important to delay. Grab the medieval walls there, ancient walls there, medieval walls there. I'm just going to put these artists to sleep for now. We're going to launch an inquisition. That'll give me some error score. And then I'll look for um, Astrakhan. Do you have a holy site? I don't think you do. Novgorod, we're going to grab ourselves a couple of, sorry, I'll do it in St. Petersburg, Berg. Uh, we'll get two inquisitors to uh, tidy up our religion problems. Let's get into combat range with this guy, we want to get our ass kicked if we can, you're going to put a mine there, very good. I think it would be cool if missionaries and apostles could like level up, kind of like combat troops and get extra abilities. Um, it would make things a little bit more interesting in my opinion. I want to put a forest or a theater square there. So I'll just kind of like put that there to remind myself. It's a good spot for one of those. And what to do with this one build charge? I see any river. Oh, there we go. There's a lumber mill right there. Get rid of the banana. The city has grown now. I think I will purchase the granary in here so the city doesn't starve. 
and trireme. Okay. Yep, we're going to put the mine here. It'll hurt the appeal a little bit over here, but that's fine. Okay, good. We're getting into the battle. Tornado outbreak on the border. Killed one of the farms over here, which kind of sucks. I'm going to unwork these since they're not efficient anymore because that the farm triangle got killed. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw this unit in here, get it killed, get another relic. It's going to hurt the religion of my my cities, but that's okay. Get these Inquisitors uh, moving out to convert back my cities. Just have them positioned because, you know, we're intentionally getting our units killed, which hurts our religion. Right, we completed the lava over here. We'll get to work on the ancient walls. To help this city along, I'm going to purchase the granary. That'll get it growing a bit. Uh, I could really use another builder. My faith purchased that builder next turn. I could gold purchase the builder for 400 gold, which isn't too bad. Um, it's pretty expensive though when I can faith purchase it. Gold is a bit of a precious resource for me. Um... Right, so we're basically building walls everywhere. It's exactly what we want to hear. I've got one build charge left in here. And there could be a district here. Harbor. So if I do this sort of a layout, I go uh, harbor. Harbor, come on now, commercial hub. Then I'll be in good shape. And if that's what I'm going to do, I may as well chop this next turn. Get up here and give that now choppy chop. Get to work on those medieval walls. You should try to run down here and get that rebuilt. Keep exploring for me. God, can you move away from that city, please? Uh, let's go ahead and gain sources. It'll take a few turns. Yeah, so a couple of spies are operating in my territory. Not a big deal. Alrighty, we got ancient walls in here. Let's grab the medieval walls, although a market would be really nice. Um, let's delay that for the market. We'll get the granary in here to help the city continue to grow. Do you Are you finished with your walls? Huh? Yeah, I guess you're finished with your walls. Um, so Mecca, having a look here, I've got some rainforest in here that I'd like to get rid of. Um, do I want to get rid of the rainforest or do I want to keep it? I think we can keep the rainforest, it's perfectly fine. Um, the city definitely could use a little bit of tile improvement, so I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a builder here. And then we are going to repair the lavra, see if we can build up our faith income. You're going to go chop here. To finish that faster and then we'll go to the renaissance walls i've got a couple of inquisitors i want to avoid combat if i can there we go we flip that um you head up this way to start cleaning up some of these cities there should be another one heading up this way and I'd like to recruit more lumber mill there. It's a two, three tile. Pretty good. We'll harvest the banana. Happy days. And we'll keep exploring. I have some gold that I could expend. I also have a bunch of diplomatic favor. Maybe it's time to trade. Germany doesn't hate me anymore. I'm going to send him a uh, thingy. He won't accept my friendship, but he probably would after an open borders agreement. And after an update, so how would you like to buy 20 iron there, buddy? You'll buy that for 6 gold, that's a fair deal. How would you like to buy another 20 iron? You'll pay 6 gold again. 
How much do you pay for this? You underpay. I can't remember who overpays. It's not Gilgamesh. I think it might be Dido who overpays. No, it's not Dido. What about the Khmer? Nope. Underpays. No, she doesn't pay a good price at all. Maybe it's Victoria? Yeah, Victoria overpays, so we can give her all 63 of our diplomatic favor. Um, we can start to dial this back. Thirty-eight diplomatic favor for all of this gold. Happy days. Very nice. Um, do you want to be friends? Great. I'm gonna go ahead and get a religious alliance with you, just purely for the sake of it. She has no money to give me anyway. Um, yeah, I guess it's time to find a new path since the units haven't moved in a significant amount of time. We'll go ahead and shoot there. We'll go to the next turn. And uh, she is happy that I satisfied her gossip agenda. Oh, Victoria. Thou art such a terrible gossip. Inquisitors doing their job. Hanging out here. Um, right, Magnus is established up here. So I think it is time to start ripping up all of these rainforests. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get another builder up here to help with that. And I think I will be ripping up these rainforests in here for the short term boost. Um, you head up there. Even if he attacks me, we should be fine. A lot of units. Ooh, a free builder that I could have taken. Shoot that guy, and then we'll head to the next turn. Let's have a look here. Uh, builder. Unfortunately, actually, both of these farms got ripped up. So... You can just place one for now, I guess. Let's pull you back. Let's get another Apostle or two. Right, we got the Renaissance walls up here in Cairo. We want to get the workshop up because we're not too far away from getting factories. And if we can get factories, that'll accelerate our empire quite a bit. Um, Renaissance, our medieval walls, good stuff. You don't need to use that there. You can just sit there. Harvest the bananas. Good growth. Um, okay, so we have the campus placed... We have the... L Lavra being repaired. Um... Best bet for tourism. I'm trying to remember um great engineer there's a section to the great people i can't remember is it great engineers that do tourism there's a couple of late game ones that give potentially a lot of tourism no it might be great merchants Yeah, here it is. This guy is an information error. Campuses provide tourism, oil, toys. Yeah, so there's great merchants are definitely something we want to focus on in a big way. 
yeah great merchants so great merchants are a, a big key for us here so we definitely want to get this uh online pretty quick i don't know why adjacent mountain you get over there and chop that for the next turn um you head up here continuing to do your exploration Builder, damn you. He escaped me. <laughs> the son of a bitch builder. Uh, I actually just want gold for this. That's not enough gold. Three gold per turn, unfortunately, is just really not enough. Gentle eruption. All right. Mercantilism. Camps are better now, so they're worth building, I think. I think before that, they're not really worth it. Um, but after, they definitely are uh so let's get the apostle up to here and we will take the orator promotion orator orator we're gonna attack this guy to soften him up you would take too much damage damage so we do want to do a bit of combat where we win right we'll get the renaissance walls in here we have fully built walls in here um so three, so the kind of key districts that we want to build are commercial hubs, holy sites, campuses and industrial zones, that kind of thing, and then entertainment complexes. Um, I'd like to get the Lavra. I think there's a plus two Lavra right here. Is there a good industrial zone nearby? Not really without sacrificing a um, national park. I think we're going to just prioritize the Lavra because I get it for half price, so it's good to build that. Um, Renaissance walls in here, great stuff. Mecca, I'm gonna do something sneaky here. I'm gonna chop, and that'll bring the turns on the commercial hub down by five turns, and I can put it up over there, as if it was a campus, since the campus is already placed in that city. Michelangelo, you're gonna just have to hang on, buddy. You jump in there, do a bit of a uh, inquisitorial work okay we got a builder with three charges let's uh spend our faith here i need to spend my gold too i'm sitting on a lot of gold that i shouldn't i'm sitting on eight turns worth of gold that i could be turning into useful stuff for example should i really hard build this workshop when i could purchase it and get it a lot sooner and then just go in and start building a commercial hub you know what i mean so what great people have been gone Okay, nobody that I care about has gone recently. That's good. Opening up the terrain here. We need to get rid of the jungle because jungle provides negative appeal, which limits uh, how many tiles we might put things on. We need to get our faith income up quite a bit. Um, okay, damn. All right, we got all this up. Uh, a harbor, for sure, for these coastal cities to help them grow. Now, I think the best place for this is actually in this little cove. Because then I can put a district on that tile there. So we'll put you there. Um, but we're going to work on the temple and the Gurdwara to help you grow. We're going to grab the Renaissance walls in here. I've got my apostle looking for a battle. Well, okay, that guy has the debater promotion, so I want to be careful about fighting um, in case I get murderized. The holy side over here is pillaged, unfortunately. Let's get it fixed so I can heal that guy up. Um, are we keeping the cattle? I think we're getting rid of the cattle. It'll force a bit of growth in there. Um, you just hang on. Do a little bit of damage there. And then I think you can heal up because you're adjacent. We're going to rip up these to get rid of the jungle on them. The rainforest, rather. It used to be called jungle. Um, do we want to put a national park in this area if we tidy these tiles up we got rid of the like marsh here 
there's a really good national park right there alternatively we could cut we could put the um we could put a lumber mill on this tile a mine here all that sort of stuff and I'll just do something else within here because we have a lot of room for national parks in the core of our empire i mean i guess an extra national park isn't terrible definitely don't need one over here so we can harvest that to finish that quicker picking up the market is always a good one extra trade route we found another city state i'm holding on to my points valletta oh my god again another thing i can spend my faith on this game is crazy oh wait no we, we already knew about valletta brain farts so faith yeah that was uh what I was hoping against. We're friends with Germany now. I'm just going to pick something at random. I've got like lots of coffee. So I'll vote for coffee. This is worth more as a resource sold. I'll say it's harder to build military units. That seems fine. Sugar and faith were the w military units. Okay, that's fine. So we can do something sneaky here. He's actually converted. She's actually converted like the majority of my majority of my country. Let's get some more of those. I do need to buy more inquisitors to keep my religion going. Um let's just have a search for Basil. So he, she's actually really far along on that. About the same distance as I am. Which means I need to get a builder in here. And I need to chop it out. As much as I would not would like to not have to do that. Uh, let's see. Have I got any cities that I could develop with gold? Shrine... Temple, develop Novgorod. All right, one more bill charge in here. Get rid of that. Renaissance walls, finish that up. Harvest the rainforest, finish that nice and quick. We're using builder charges and stuff to develop the city rapidly. also like to purchase a trader in here it's a little bit too expensive it's fine we can get it next turn put a mine there there's a rainforest on this we'll get rid of it um the campus repair takes a very long time so we're not going to do that just yet so campus commercial hub lavra entertainment and industrial zone there's an okay industrial zone over here it's a plus three one. We're going to get to work on it. It's not going to be a powered one. It's just going to be a workshop one, giving the city a bit of extra production and generating some um, great people points for me. We got another relic, and then I can kill this guy. What? For real? That ends up with me dead? Oh my god. Alright. I thought for sure that was going to be in my favor. Let's swing in here. Harvest. Production focus. Take that tile. 13 turns. Ours has the little thing on it. Hers doesn't, so we're a little bit ahead. 
but with the AI's production bonuses that could turn out to not be true very very quickly. Alright, so that's all this explored. See how fast we've developed. Some of our cities, right, are getting rapid development because we're doing, we're appropriately assigning uh, resources to rapidly develop particular cities, which will then be used to re- Who built it? must have been built in the fog by someone that's disappointing not the end of the world that we didn't get it we do miss out on a decent amount of religious tourism um we can build something else Can you do this tile? We'll go for the Taj Mahal. Not the end of the world that we didn't get it. Pretty sad that I didn't get it. In all honesty, I was really hoping that I would get that. Um, considering it's like... We had invested, what? Like 800 production into it or something ridiculous, I think. Oof. Yeah, it's scary. We did get the kill, which flips the religion back in our favor a little bit. I'm pretty sad about not getting that. Um, Alright, so gold injections into Novgorod. I think Novgorod is basically where it needs to be. I could do a faith injection in the form of the Gurdwara. Which, now this city is like super built. Super strong. And it can work on empire-wide infrastructure. Like builders, spies, uh, traders, all that sort of stuff. In fact, in my capital, I'm going to make sure to get the trader. I should have actually searched Taj. He's about to finish that. So... We'll just grab the spy in a single turn as a consolation prize. Unfortunate. We'll get that online as well. I get rid of the rainforest. Okay, industrial zone is up. Let's get the shrine and the temple going. Uh, let's see, siphon funding so that we can use the money to develop our empire city by city. Uh, now I did have you in position because I wanted the faith purchase a harbor in here, but I need a bit more. Did I actually already place the harbor? Shit, I did. No, damn. Let the faith purchase it and then purchase purchase to make the city stronger to concentrate all my resources into a smaller area. Um, so for sure this actually makes good land for farms in here. You want to buy chocolate? I'll do mutual open borders. Is that an encampment? All right. Mass production, shipyards are available. That's good for places that have harbors. Uh, can I actually still? No. I'm curious about how I do these things. All right, so we got mass production. Our next step is probably to move up to industrialization to get a bit more production in the form of factories and coal power plants. Um, we have a great person available a great artist this is all religious art
We got a spy too. Um, I think siphon funds is not a very good strong one. Paris, I think I already have a guy siphoning funds there. 840 gold from you. 1,200 from Phoenicia, so we'll go there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. You are going to be organized by production. And ideally, we're going to choose international trade routes. I don't know who owns. These tiles, but that's fine. All right, Inquisitor. Still got bad guys running around my neighborhood. This is my nearest holy site that I can like go heal at. There's one up here you can go heal. You've got one up here too. Inquisitor, go inquisize. So yeah, these don't provide quite as much food anymore because we got rid of the uh, jungle, but that's okay because we're building farms. It'll all work out in the end. Um, all right, yeah, keep searching here. We'll go to the next turn and then we shall see what we see in the next turn. Alrighty then. Over here in Veronza, it looks like we finished up getting ourselves a shrine. It's a little bit of an underdeveloped city in here. I'd like to do more. Now, one thing I'd really like to try and do is just the faith purchase the harbor to finish it. I think that actually worked and it did. And then what I want to do is faith purchase the lighthouse to get this city up to a higher spec as well. Um, so it's a step closer to where it needs to be. And we'll continue to develop this city. I would actually almost want to faith purchase a builder in here as well. Um, because if I could get this up to seven pop before I move Moksha away, I could faith purchase another district. Um, Let's see, entertainment complex, commercial hub. I think we're just going to go ahead and work on the temple because that's the most faith that we can get. And we're going to work on the Renaissance walls in here. Uh, we'll put a fish farm here that'll give the city a growth tile to work. And then we'll put another farm up here eventually when we can get a unit. I'm going to, where's my knights? Let's see if I can get a couple of units over there. And the nearest holy site is right there that you can heal up at. And you'll do a similar thing. You'll come here and heal. Um, right, you go there. Now the city has lots of farms to keep it fed. Which means it can work more production tiles, more specialist tiles, all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Do we keep this lumber mill or do we get it and extend the farms out? I'm really tempted to extend the farms out. I want to faith purchase another builder in here, but it's a bit expensive. I can purchase upgrade my unit here if I wanted to get a skirmisher, but I don't think that really does much for me at this point in the game. Um, all right, let's get you into this city and then we'll start reconverting all of our land because we, we let it all slip because we killed a bunch of our units. You want a military alliance? Sure. All right, harbor here. Definitely think it would be a good move to get a harbor in here. The question is, this city is actually like strong enough to build it on its own. It doesn't need the gold purchasing. So we'll get that and then uh, just go for the lighthouse. This guy had like the genius idea of pillaging me, thinking it would be absolutely hilarious. And it was because I'm super mad about it. Renaissance walls are done in here. Do I want to build a dam? I would kind of like to build a dam, but this city needs to start producing some other stuff for me. I don't have a governor title that I can assign. I wish I did. We're working on colonialism. So that what that means is once we once we get into this branch of the tech tree, that means we're running out of time to build Renaissance walls in our cities. So we need to make sure we have everywhere building their walls. If you're wondering why that is, it's because we are using the card Bastions over here. Um, ba -ba 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 here, Defensive Tactics. Sorry, not Bastions. It's Limes, which is 100% um, production towards defensive buildings. 
and this card goes obsolete at civil engineering you can see that down there in the makes obsolete portion limes is one of the cards that goes obsolete at civil engineering so we want to get all of our construction of walls done before that point you can work on a trader for me because that's empire-wide infrastructure and you don't need to build anything right now uh in terms of this city it's built a lavra excellent i am going to cancel one of the national parks here and i think it's going to be this one i've made the decision now that that's not going to be a national park instead it's going to be something else Because I want to put an industrial... Well, what, what district do I want to put in here? I want to put an entertainment complex. And ideally... Uh, I would put it right there. Uh, I really want to get the workshop. Do I have enough time to get that before industrialization? I do. Okay, that'll be my third workshop. Do I want to hard build this or do I want to purchase it? I think I'm going to hard build it. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can't really go anywhere, so I'm going to wait. Are you guys not healing up? Like, what the hell? Do they, does it have to be my religion for them to heal? Was that a change? Get that workshop nice and quick. I want to trade in my diplomatic favors soon. For gold. I think we'll do it this turn. Let's talk to Catherine. We'll send her uh, this. We'll get a friendship with her. We'll make a deal. How much do you pay for these? You underpay, actually. That was the wrong person. I think it's Victoria who pays well. So 30 for 28 and 187. Deal. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm happy with all that. Let's talk to you. Anyone else want to buy these at like a good price? I don't think anyone else really gives me a good price. Everyone else gives me like half price for them. Which is pretty shitty. What if I were to give you all 63? Because England just simply can't buy them. 37 gold per turn like isn't awful. Considering I can also maybe sell her like some iron. And some horses. Seven gold per turn for both, and I'll sell some more horses. And then I'll do it again with iron, although she might not have room for this much iron. You stop laughing at me over your shoulder, it's weird. Okay, I'm gonna get the Renaissance walls started. Because uh, we're on a timer to get those done in an efficient manner. More farms for Mecca. Mecca's getting big now. It's exactly what we want. Temple will be done in here. Ideally, I could purchase the shipyard in here to help develop this city up to a higher um, level. I still can't safely go anywhere with this because of this goddamn unit in my way. Uh, we are going to get a significant gold boost here from our fishing boats here once we finish cartography, which is pretty cool. Now, out of curiosity, what sort of continent map are we looking at here? It looks like all my cities are on the same continent, which is, you know, eh, not a big deal. It just means we can't take advantage of the continent bonuses. That's all fine. Get those Renaissance walls up, please, and thank you. 
So I'm focusing very hard on developing this sort of vertical strip of my empire, and then I'll slowly phase over to the left as I improve things. Um, so one thing in particular that I'd really like to do is to purchase the shipyard in here, because that's going to be like a 25% increase in the production of this city. It's also going to give it more food. And I think I can safely pop up here now and put a lumber mill there, and then come over here and place uh, a n some new farms down in a triangle format you pop up here to defend you pop up here to defend you're just gonna go to sleep because I've, I've really got nothing left for you guys um, doing the um, doing the thing what, what, what was the word Inquisition <laughs> Uh, this guy, I'd rather just get your gold off you, honestly. I don't think the Niter is really anything I care about. We are getting square rigging, so we will have some embarked speed. Uh, there's a level 4 commercial hub, or a 4 adjacency commercial hub, rather. We've got Novgorod up. I'm going to move that to St. Petersburg. My capital is a little bit underdeveloped. Um, let's get another trader over here. We just finished Temple. I could faith purchase the Gurdwara, but my faith is kind of precious. It would let the city grow. Um, I think I have to move Moksha. And I think I'm going to move Moksha to some of these newer cities like Olonets. So let's grab Moksha and reassign him to Olonets for argument's sake and start like purchasing districts in here. If we could get a good harbor in here, we'd be in good shape with that city. Um, Smolensk, on the other hand, I could faith purchase the Gurdwara. I also have room for three more relics, but I also need to like retake my religion. So let's get a couple of apostles and we'll use these guys to retake my religion and then send them off to die somewhere. Um, we're going to just hard build the Gurdwara here. We'll get the market for the extra trade route. That's empire wide infrastructure that can help us out a lot. You're going to go stand here. You're going to pop here. Put a farm down. Good stuff. You're going to go asleep because you're not really much use to me. You're going to come up here and inquisize this city. You are going to bounce the F out of here, as will you eventually. keep exploring and then this guy is going to gain sources so that he can steal gold more effectively from Tyre okay you want to buy this you can have it for just some gold sometimes you got to accept a slightly lower price for your um, resources like not much you can do about it so this is not a very good shipyard so I don't think it's a priority for me I'm gonna to get to work on the ancient walls uh, here too Renaissance walls. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we got the workshop in here. The temple is pretty important. The this guy needs to go. All right, apostle head here. Then you're gonna take the debater promotion. Head here. You're gonna take the indulgence vendor. It's not a very good. It's not a very good promotion, in all honesty. Uh, Okay, so you're working a couple of good growth tiles. You're not really going to grow that much faster with more food, so I think you're fine the way you are. Um, I've got four build charges here to play around with. I'm thinking I could send it where... Lumber mill here wouldn't be too terrible, so I'll send you over in that direction. You're going to go into alert there. Uh, you are looking for productive trade routes. Ideally, that also give gold. Let's actually just look at the gold. Like, this is a pretty good trade route right there. Don't forget that it's okay if we're a little bit behind, because we get lots of boosts for being behind in terms of science and uh, culture from trade routes. All right, let's keep exploring here. I'm going to go to the next turn. Ooh, big oof. This is the city that I just spent a lot of resources 
building up and everything was just obliterated along here that is painful we're gonna have to faith purchase a builder in here and rebuild this entire river section in fact pops were killed man youch we need that rip we need that dam damn in fact we're gonna build the dam so i think which here that dam needs to go uh and fix this problem uh, but yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.